This is Live at 5 Sunday. Right now, right now at 5, tragedy on Beaver Dam Lake. Six people pulled from the waters after their snowmobiles plunged through the ice. One of them did not survive. What was supposed to be a fun winter night out on the lake turns deadly in Dodge County. Good afternoon. I'm Charles Benson. And I'm Shelley Walk. And tonight we're learning new information about the lake's dangerous conditions. Our Todd Hicks has more from Beaver Dam. While the DNRs continue their investigation into exactly what happened out here on Beaver Dam Lake, they say early evidence shows open water may have contributed to this accident, referred to as a goose hole. On this lake, there's oftentimes areas where the geese concentrate because of the migration and they keep the water open. A deadly combination that took the life of one man, a death that hits a little too close to home for Dodge County Sheriff Todd Nails. He tells us it was a family member who died. They're going through a very difficult time right now and they were through a very traumatic experience last night. Six snowmobilers plunged into this lake just after dusk last night. Another person on the ice watching it all happen and rushing to call 911. Another witness tells us he threw a rope to help pull people out before rescue crews got there. While investigators looked over the scene Sunday, a local fisherman insists the body of water is known for trouble. There's a lot of hidden springs here in the, in the lake, so it's just a tragic what happened. Despite those dangers and continued warnings from the DNR of thin ice, dozens still taking their chances today on the ice, a risk that became all too real Saturday night. It's touching a lot of people's lives in the community, so we treat it very with a lot of sensitivity. And authorities are not releasing the name of the person who died in this accident or the others that are involved. That information is expected to come early next week. On your side, reporting from Beaver Dam, Todd Hicks, today's TMJ4. Todd, thank you very much and rescue officials have been busy.